Hello my blogging friends, it's Kelly Ryan again and today we're going to be working on adding a few gadgets to the sidebar of your website. So go ahead and go into Blogger and over on the sidebar over here let's go down to the layout page. Okay, Yours probably is looking something like this and what we're going to do is add a gadget. Okay. There are literally a gazillion gadgets. These first 28 here are the basic ones from Blogger. You know that these are effective and safe and well known. There's also more gadgets that you can check out. These are not necessarily as um, safe and reliable, although you can see the ones that are here by Blogger itself are definitely trustworthy. Um, so I would start there, but before we get lost in all of those, today's is fortunately just very basic, and what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to link your Instagram to your blog. If you don't have an Instagram right now, that's obviously fine. Um, I'm going to be doing several little units today, so if this one doesn't apply to you, you can just uh, skip it and go on to the next one. Okay, but for those of you that do have an Instagram, you are going to head down to where it says HTML JavaScript. Hit the plus sign and you're going to get a window like this. Now all we need to do is paste the content here and we'll be good to go. Of course, you got to get the content first, so what we're going to do is go over here to Snap Widget Dot com, okay, snapwidget.com and I'm going to close this out. You're simply, when you get to the home page, I'm actually going to show you the home page, okay. It's going to look like this and you don't need to worry about the pros or anything. You're just going to get your free widget. They're going to try and trick you over here. You don't have to do this. Start your free trial. Ignore all that. You're just going to put in your username, no hashtag, because we're going with username. We're going to stick with a grid style, so leave that alone. The thumbnail size is fine. We're going to change the layout to a 2x2 two two and leave everything else how it is. Okay? Get widget. There's your code. You're going to copy the code. You can close that out and then we're going to go back. Ooh, my computer is thinking. Okay, we're going to go back to your JavaScript window. Title it Instagram. You might use all caps or not. That's your preference. And paste in your content. Save it. and then on your main layout page save that arrangement. If you hit preview you won't see it yet. It'll show you that the windows created but it won't show you the content till you actually save it. So if, if you do see view um, preview don't freak out that you don't see the, the pictures there. And then that's it. There they are. Voila. They have um, these will now update for my four most recent Instagram pictures. If you want to change any of this, you'll go back to Snap Widget and um, you can alter this um, layout. You can see from a fit nurse over here, she's got a 3x3, three three, but she changed, so I'll show you here, she changed the thumbnail size to be smaller to fit them all in. So I just wanted to show you that as an example of uh, what you can do to customize some of that, okay? Um, but for the purposes of our blog and how it's probably looking right now, I just decided to stick with the 2x2. Two two. We will be working on formatting, some, doing some advanced formatting of the look and feel of your website soon. But for now, that's your little Instagram unit. Good luck to you guys. Can't wait to see what you've done.